Hey, what's up guys, Aiden here. Today I'm bringing you Bolo Young from the uh, Bloodsport version. So if you wanna just go ahead and copy what you see on the screen to end up with the same Bolo Young that I have on mine. So for posture, I've gone for Eddie Alvarez. I thought it's a fair enough like kind of look representation of him. If you want to give him more of a kickboxer look, maybe even. I mean, Conor McGregor has his hands quite done. Yeah, you could even. But I'd save that to be honest. I'll save that stance for the for the hero of the story, man. Let's give him the villain stance, Eddie Alvarez. So here we go. And yeah, so I've put him at welterweight, 168 centimeters, which I've taken off the Wikipedia. And uh, put him at welterweight so he can fight against Bruce Lee at welterweight. And I thought he's not really a lightweight. I don't know. He just he seems like a bulky guy. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's jump into his appearance. So copy what you see on the screen. You get the same results. If you enjoyed the content, drop a like below. And uh, if you've got any suggestions, then yeah, just drop it in the comments. So for hair, we have gone for hair 72. Hair color, gone for black. For the eyebrows, we have gone for brows 4. Facial hair, I haven't given him anything. And body hair, I didn't give him any body hair. And then, yeah, the important ones. He's got head, hair black, and he's got eyebrows black as well. So moving on to the next bit, we have dark brown eyes. I thought they were the only eyes that work with him, to be honest. Hmm, yeah, I think dark brown is the one. For body, I guess you guys can have a look around the uh, body things, but I went for body 16. I thought that was quite a stocky look. Body 19. I mean, he's not really shredded in real life. He's more like bulk. And he's not kind of... I mean, this is close to it, but this would need to be a bit more muscly. So maybe even body 14, but again, I still think... I still think body 16 is the one. For the skin tone, I've gone for tone 6. So skin tone, tone 6. Tattoos. What have we done for tattoos? Yeah, so the tattoo is the forehead tattoo. Uh, it's worth us doing the face first and then we'll have a look at the forehead tattoo. So for his head, you want to make sure you choose template number three. And then basically, guys, just copy what you see on my screen and then you end up with the same results as what I have here. So I'm just going to go through it nice and slow. Just make sure that the video captures all of the uh, different numbers. I think this is a good kind of representation of what he looked like in Bloodsport. The trouble is the hairstyle was not really available for his other look from the uh, Bruce Lee films. And um, for that reason, I've given him the Bloodsport look. We couldn't get a white tattoo, so I've had to do something different with the headband and use a yellow. But um, you guys can experiment with a headband, do it you know how you, how you want it to be. Could even give him a blue headband, to be honest. Let's go through this one more time real quick. There we go. And so basically the tattoos, let's jump into those. So I've used tattoos to make a headband. We don't actually have a headband in the game. So what you want to use is shapes 19. So if you go to the shape section, shapes 19, and then basically I've made it into a rectangle and I've put that as the bottom layer. Right, so let's let's do it from scratch. Let's say if I was in your shoes. So I'll start from up here somewhere, I'll go down. Shapes 19, it's gonna be something like that. Hold L1, press down on your right D-pad to get it thin enough, hold L1, press left on your D-pad, and I'm gonna press down again just to, just to try and resize it. And basically bring it up to his forehead, and then stretch it across, L1 and right. Make sure it kind of fills it out so that it's right, sits right at the top. Oh, I, I, what did I do? I held L1 and up, I held L1 and right as well. And then basically that's gonna be your base layer, so that's gonna be the bottom layer. So next up, what you want to do is you want to hit the D-pad F3, sorry, not D-pad, you want to hit left 3 to duplicate. Once you've duplicated it, go into shapes and go to shapes 23. Now basically this is the shape that you're going to get out of that. And it's going to sit right on top of where your previous one was. What you want to do is just move it up a tiny bit. And that's going to give it a little bit of that black line at the bottom, which is going to make it look like there's a slight, there's a slight bit of lift to it. Depending on, it's up to you guys how much you want to how much like black border you want to put on it. Um, I've, mine looks like this, hang on. Yeah, so mine looks like this. It might even look better if it was like that, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's a better look, right there. So just a little tiny little black line under it to give it that tidy look. 
and give a bit of lift. So next up we're going to create a unique tattoo which is miscellaneous 14 so new layer again go across four times miscellaneous and this uh, down here number 14 this is the one I've used again you guys can do it how you want just that he has something in the middle of his tattoo in real life some unique shape you can try and make it out of the other tattoo shapes but if you're like me and just want to get it done quickly I've gone for miscellaneous 14 and then just use L1 to resize it again put it to the middle of his um, headband press X and then you're done and next up what you want to do you can we can add four rectangles right use the sh similar technique as we used earlier shapes 25 going for and you basically want to put two on each side with a little gap between them so one is here one is here two on the other side one here and one here and there you go that's his headband done oh that's my phone is Amazon here bring me my streaming gear damn it all right so moving on from that fighter type um what would he be he would be a pressure I guess um, or maybe razor where's razor crazy legs yeah I'm gonna give him razor man and now looking at it, his headband could do with that tiny bit that tiny bit of more tattoo because when I zoomed out I'm just like okay actually you know what let's just give him a little tiny bit more there you go just to make sure that it's visible in the game because his face isn't going to be this, this zoomed in the whole time okay so final bit of the tutorial guys we're going to look at his clothing jump into clothing so we've got bottoms we've got dragon red for the gloves I've had to purchase it from a DLC store because I didn't pre-order the game and I've gone for rope gloves if you guys don't want to do that then just have a look around I guess you can go for maybe strike force two tone strike force red if you've got the basic gloves then maybe maybe just the red ones they look alright or even just black uh, for mouth guard I haven't actually done it let's go which one should we go for for the mouth guard maybe the fangs yeah there we go alright guys so that is Bolo Young let me just zoom into him one last time as I'm doing my little outro so yo guys I appreciate it we're nearly at 1000 subscribers which is awesome if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you enjoyed the content give it a like and uh, yeah let me know in the comments below what you guys are thinking for future videos I've got the requests and I've written them down um, the latest one on my mind actually I was thinking of doing more female characters so Gina Carano Laura Croft those two are interesting and we'll just see where it goes I've got a bunch ready to get up on the channel um, from Nassim Hamed to what was his face completely forgot Paul Daly um, Douglas Lima and then CJ Johnson from uh, GTA he needs a bit more work I don't know if I'm gonna put him out at the start of the week maybe towards the end of next week and then we've got a few more GTA characters Nico Bellic as well so yeah guys we'll see how that all goes so thank you for chain really well and I'll see you guys in the next one I'm Aiden and I'm out of here